Next up at UFC Vegas 84, we have Fareed Bajarat taking on Taylor Lapalus. Fareed Bajarat, 11-0. He is undefeated in his career, coming off his first stoppage win in the UFC. He's taking on Taylor Lapalus, 19-3 overall, 5-0 in his last five. He is riding a nice six-fight win streak. This is a very split fight in the comment section, and people are 100% positive on whatever side they're on. There's not a lot of reasonable people in the comment section talking about this fight. There's a whole bunch of Taylor by KO. You don't know. I've been watching his whole career. Blah, 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 blah. And then a whole bunch of Fareed smokes. Like, there's not a lot of like, ooh, this fight could be. And the reality is, this is, damn it. Boy, it is very aggressive with the hand gesture recognition. Um, Let's see those calluses. No, thank you. The, um... Uh, the reality is this is a very interesting fight. I don't know how close it's going to be, but it is a very interesting fight. We got Free Bajrat. This guy's a very well-rounded guy. Very good wrestler. He's got solid striking as well. He's got that loose stance. He'll bounce around on his toes. He'll throw a ton of kicks. He's very mobile, constantly working. What are you doing, dude? Good. Good. That's karma for being a turd. Ooh, like, what the fuck are you doing? Idiot. Small-ass hands. Oh, let me put it closer to the camera. People won't know my hands are fucking tiny. Oh, here we go. Mini Coke can to pretend he doesn't have little ass hands. Oh, wow. Cool. Cool. A child's football. Oh, oh look yeah. at me. Oh, yeah. Fucking idiot. You can't palm a basketball. Go get a basketball. I don't have basketball and I can palm basketball. Yeah. Easily. Well, trash bag. Anyway, Fareed's a very mobile guy. He has great wrestling, good striking as well. Uh, he's got a taekwondo stance, and that helps him move in and out, stay defensively sound. Beast of a wrestler. An absolute beast of a wrestler. The he'll time his takedowns perfectly, and lots of times he'll even just use his wrestling to keep a fight standing. He doesn't even need to get it to the ground. And he's coming off that submission win over Clayton Rodriguez where he did use that wrestling, and he used it well. He's taking on Taylor Lapalus. This guy's a fantastic kickboxer, incredible footwork, does a really good job working in and out of range. He comes in for his attacks. He'll throw a combination, and then he'll back his way out. By the time his opponents throw their own strikes, he's usually out of the pocket. Taking him down is going to be your path to victory because the striking is so good, but it's not the easiest thing to do because he defends takedowns the right way. I mentioned this a few times. You're going to see in MMA, there's a million people. Here we go. Oh, God, Defending go. takedowns just like this. Do you have underwear on? Just like this. Pot shotting the side of the head. Not Taylor. <laughs> Taylor, hips down. Stuff in the head. Hips down. Hips away. Break the grip. Defends the takedown for real. I don't know what you're laughing at. Because oh, <laughs> I go like God, this. And I, it could like... <laughs> your, I could hear your knees. Um, you're going to hear my knees slam into your face on February 9th. Screaming. <laughs> All that red on your face isn't going to be from God. It's going to be from your blood vessels. Where are the braces? You don't have the braces. He defends takedowns really well. As I so eloquently demonstrated, are you he out of will breath? Stuff <laughs> Wait the head. a second. Are you out of breath? You're not going to throw some fake narrative out there. <laughs> As I mentioned, he will stuff the head, get his hips back, separate that grip, and then work from there. So Taylor Lapalus defends takedowns well. And it's going to be important to see how well, because I do think Freed's going to come in. He's going to shoot takedowns. And Fareed, I think, wins this fight. I think his striking is capable. He's not going to be the better striker, but I think it is capable, and the wrestling is going to be too good. Fareed Bajrat should win this fight. I think he's going to get it done. Uh, we just watched Taylor get taken down twice by Kowlin Lochran. That guy sucks. And if Fareed's taking him down, or if uh, Kowlin's taking him down twice, Fareed's taking him down twice. Taylor was way too hesitant in his last fight. That hesitation is just going to give Fareed all the openings he needs. Fareed's the pick. I understand this has had movement up and down as well. Um, I understand the movement. At one point, Fareed was down to like minus 180. Yeah, Jacob's in great shape. Congratulations. Short guys usually are. Show me a short guy that goes to the gym that isn't in good shape. The thing is, you have no discernible fight skills at all. We'll talk about that in the break. Fareed's the pick. Very confident in him. Who do you think wins? And also by, uh, I mean, if you want to, on that picture. So. Yeah, you're, oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, a couple of blue checks liked your thirst trap. Go ahead. So. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hurry up, dude. Who do you think wins? 
Oh, just trying to just see if I could hear your heart rate. I fucking I don't know if it was still just beating out of your fucking chest or not. <laughs> These jokes are only gonna that, last that so long. That heartbeat. Have you even been cleared by a doctor yet? We are you gonna, get can you, you break this down, please? We gotta get you cleared, man. Uh, yeah, let me preface this breakdown by saying I think that Taylor is a very good fighter. I think that he is a very high level fighter. His striking is very, very clean. Doesn't have a crazy amount of power, especially you know it's bantam weight one thirty five, so it's pretty average power for a bantam weight. But he is very clean in his striking. I agree, he does have some good takedown defense. You can see when he's back, he's got the hips back. Most people are are this and this and this, but he's stuffing the head. He's stuffing the head. He's stuffing the head. He's hips back. He's hips back. He's hips back. He's stuffing the head. He's stuffing the head. He's stuffing the head. Um, fuck it. This channel is fucking. I, know, I think twenty twenty four is a bad start here, but um, he does. He is a he is, he is a good fighter. The issue is, and this is this is going to sound bad, but it is what it is. He is French, and he is a French fighter, and he fights like those French fighters. He's he's a little Savant. bit more aggressive. He's a little bit more aggressive than the French style fighters, where most of them just kind of hang back and hang back. You've seen William Gomez just kind of dot, 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 just wait, 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 and they will wait forever. He will move forward a little bit, but his sense of urgency in his last fight, in front of his home crowd, chanting, they're doing this national anthem in front of him, he still didn't have that sense of urgency that I would like to see. He got taken down. He was held down by a lesser grappler than Fareed. And when I see that, in France, in front of your home crowd, I get a little bit concerned because Farid is a guy that will come in and doesn't force the takedowns. I think that's what's important in here. And Angelo mentioned as well, he can hang in the striking. He's not gonna if if he was coming in and I thought that he was just gonna chain wrestle and shoot takedowns nonstop. I would like Taylor because Taylor can defend the takedowns and eventually you're gonna wear down and then you have nothing left. Left. Fareed is a guy that will hang on the striking, is capable in the striking, and boom, just time that takedown. And once he gets you to the ground, the way I saw Taylor getting controlled in his last fight, I think Fareed has even better control once he gets on top. If he wants you to stay on the ground, guess what? You're probably going to stay on the ground. I think Fareed can kind of tit for tat in the striking, be be not quite in the striking, but do enough, and then boom, that takedown's there. And once he gets one, I think he's going to get a lot more. He's a very high IQ guy, and I like Fareed in this matchup just because I've seen him win rounds i've seen him understand this is a close round i'm getting the takedown i'm winning this round and those french guys for whatever reason they just like that da, 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 da. oh bonjour i was talking it's called savant style i guess i, I was talking to a fighter and uh, this was for ufc france or whatever ufc paris or, this summer or this fall i forget when it was i think it's summer and uh i was like dude all those french guys fight the same and he goes yeah savant style so he talked me through it so it is like genuinely a style and they all do it I mean, you're right. They're very patient. They're controlled. They're measured. It's not an insult. No, it's and just very good. I mean, he's yeah, a, yeah, he's exactly. A, he's a good fighter. It's just a, a different very style. precise striker. They're all very precise. When they throw, it usually lanes them. You know. Yeah. Um, so we're both on the same side here. You agree with the odds? You think he should be a three to one favorite? Yeah. You know, I I got him. I played him, and I got him. I wouldn't have. I don't think I would have played the minus three hundred, or maybe it would have been a different type of play. I actually think they might be live for a finish here with a submission. You know, it's kind of a stretch, but. Um, and those odds, I mean, they did really good with the odds this week as far as like lining people up. There were some spots I wanted to play where I'm like, yeah, just really not worth it. Uh, minus 300 might be a little bit healthy because it could be a close decision. And who knows when it's a close decision. But uh, I played them at better odds. So we won picks.com become a premium member today. It's only 10 fucking dollars a month. And you're going to fucking blow your top off when you see this website. It's beautiful. It's got everything you need. You sign up today. We won picks.com. $10 a month. That's your um, uh, wall of shame voice. I missed the wall of shame. That was fun. Yeah, me and my 2024. Eighty nine hundred dollars. The only way Farid is worth that money if is he is if he wrestles his little ass off, and he might, he might. That's the only way he's worth that money, though. Bunch of takedowns, control time. That's where he's going to be worth that money. If this is going to be an in and out Taekwondo style striking match, and he shoots one takedown, two takedown, that's a lot of money to cover. I do think I'll have him in a lineup or two though, because I do think he is going to wrestle, and he's going to be worth that money. As Jacob said, we want picks.com. Ten dollars a month. Click become a member at the top. 
Before you go, let me give you $50. Anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets and signs up with any one of our affiliate partners gets $50 as a thank you. Use the link, sign up, make a deposit. We send you 50 bucks as a thank you.